Philadelphia figure on television. The vacant British lightweight championship is one of the classic divisions. It dates back 107 years in this country to when it was held by Dick Burge. Tanvir Ahmed, the taller man, the southpaw in the green trunks and the black of Manchester's Wayne Rigby, the younger man by five years. And you'll see, I think, Ahmed trying to dominate behind his long reach. Keep the fight maybe at range. Rigby will look to get inside and maybe work away to the body. And that's a cracking right hand straight away from Rigby. Didn't he time that well? He did time that well. And that is a, a, a punch that Ahmed has been a little bit susceptible to in the past. So obviously in the gym, they've probably worked on that punch long and hard. One thing Rigby may have in his favour here is a greater resilience. He's never been on the floor and Tanvi Ahmed has been down in his career four times. Having said that, Rigby is no concussive hitter. Not on what he's shown so far anyway. This fight means so much for these two men who've come up the hard way without much publicity, without much money, and really, you find yourself as a neutral observer wishing them both well, don't you, Glenn? Of course you do. They're, they've worked long and hard, and they deserve some success. No glamour treatment for either of these two fellas. Sandy Ahmed, proud of his Pakistani background. I notice he's got Pakistan written down the side of his shorts and uh, there was well, I don't know if it was a bit of publicity gimmickry, they invited the Pakistan High Commissioner here. Ridley started well though. He's starting well. He's trying to bring Ahmed down to the size a little bit. He's got to try and do that because Ahmed has got that height and reach advantage. He's going to try and use that to good effect. Also it's behind a, a south foot jab which, which makes it more difficult for Rigby, so Rigby's got to try and find a way inside so he can use them good body punching. Clever little right hand punch there by Tanvi Ahmed. He's got plenty of skills about him. Again, fairly good shot by Ahmed. Not an awful lot in this opening round, Glenn. There is nothing. They've, they've both got to try and settle into it and just find a way. And it's going to be difficult for Rigby. He's got to try and get past that south cross stance and he, without walking onto a left hand from Ahmed. Ahmed just whipping in that left hand as well every time the opportunity presents itself. They're having a fairly good look at one another in this opening round. Wasn't much in that. Welcome back to the famous York Hall in Bethnal Green in the East End of London. First round action and the best shot of the round was this right hand coming up from Wayne Rigby. Yes, he just got the right distance there. That was a, a good punch, but Ahmed stood up to it well. But that's the punch that Rigby has got to try and use. But it might take Rigby a little time to get warm, a little time to get in. He's been out of the ring since March, so there could be a, a few cobwebs there. Although his training for this fight, I'm told, has been very intensive. The black trunks of Wayne Rigby from Manchester, the green of the Glasgow news agent, Tanvir Ahmed. Both of these men have had setbacks in the past in their career. Rigby lost on his debut, but he hasn't been defeated since 1995 when he lost to Kelt on McKenzie. So that makes a decent run. His confidence will be high. Ahmed just the one defeat in his career, and that was in his second fight, and he's had 21 altogether. Could have a rather lucky draw for the WBO Intercontinental title, Ahmed, against Dave Armstrong. One of the judges, I think, had Armstrong five rounds in front at the end of it, but it was scored a draw overall. That's all history. What counts for them both is tonight. Moment's doing the right thing. He's trying to keep 
Sender, they're in control behind the jab. Kearsley let out a, a left hand, but just careful boxing. Rigby has got to try and get inside that jab and work to the body and bring the right hand into play. Ahmed scoring quite consistently behind his jab and left hand in this second round. Rigby finding it hard to get in range, really. Saw it twice there. He just hit thin air. It's a problem for him. It's one he knew he'd have on the way into it. But he'll have to think his way through this. This is very difficult. That was better with the left two. But it's very difficult for an orthodox fighter to beat the southpaw to the jab because they're obviously much more used to, to using it. And that's, that's the problem at the moment. He's too far out of range and he can't get his other punches on. Ahmed, who just started boxing really as a hobby and it's kind of grown from there until he was in reach of a shot at the British Championship. You heard him say in that interview beforehand, he even felt of retiring at one point. His wife urged him to go on and take this championship chance. He's dominating this second round, Ahmed. Yes, he's just keeping busy. Nice work behind the jab, controlling the fight from center ring. Welcome back to the East End of London. Tanvi Ahmed doing some good work in that second round. He had his sporadic successes, Wayne Rigby, but it was uh, Ahmed's jab that kind of dominated. Yes, Ahmed just settled into the fight the quicker of the two he's got his game plan he's getting to that better using the jab and that's working well and Rigby just not able to get close enough to land the punches he needs here's round three British lightweight championship remember Tanvi Ahmed in green Wayne Rigby in black now what can Rigby do about the height and reach problem had a very good win over Alan Bosworth away from home in Northampton to earn this chance Rigby but that was 10 months ago hasn't fought since then Ahmed who stopped Alan Temple in a final eliminator nearly a year ago the big stars in Britain on this scene there have been Michael Ayres, Colin Dunn, and now the WBU champion. And Billy Schwer, the European champion, has been around a long time. Excellent fighter, Billy. Good to see him coming back so strongly in 97 as well. Well, Rigby's got to try and find a, a way in now. So he's got to try and find a, a little bit more lateral movement, step to the side, give Ahmed a few angles, and he's got to be busier. It's time for a little step up in pace at about this point just going southpaw for a moment there Rigby and then changing back immediately he's flirted with that idea a couple of times which I think is a realisation Glenn that he needs to set Tanvir Ahmed one or two other problems that's right at least he's trying to think in there he's quickly going back to orthodox which is a, a good thing because I don't think he feels really comfortable at southpaw but you know he's trying to, to think and maybe just throw a few feints to try and make Ahmed make a mistake but as yet Ahmed isn't it's Ahmed's kind of fight this so far he's whipping in those left hands to some effect he's not a sledgehammer puncher but he's got a better knockout ratio than Rigby they might have a cumulative effect a little bit of blood around by the side of the forehead now of Rigby for Rigby it has been cut before and there was quite a bit of scar tissue around his eyes this is better for Rigby getting in close and thumping away to the body now that's where he wants to be so this is a change in the fight I think maybe he senses there's a little bit of damage to his eyes and this has spurred him on a little bit now this is more his sort of fight much more of a close in brawl and Anvir Tanvir Ahmed needs to keep this more at range but Rigby here is suddenly 
warming to the task. There's damage to the right eye by the look of it of Rigby, though. This is warming up quite nicely. Things happening in this third round. A cut for Rigby, but his best successes so far. And there is the damage to the right eye of Wayne Rigby. We can't get that close of view for the very good reason that the corner are working on it. Bob Shannon and Aziz Daho, brother of the late British super featherweight champion now Chief Daho is working in that corner. That's a good left hand from Ahmed. I'm not sure if this was what did the damage. That was that, a good shot, wasn't it? Was it? Better shot than it looked that just at uh, really rock real back. pace. A solid punch that could well have been and it looked round about the spot. <laughs> Interesting how that last round will have been scored by Larry O'Connell because Tanvir Ahmed certainly had his moments, but this body attack by Rigby was eye-catching. Now here's round four. Vacant British lightweight championship at nine stone, nine pounds. The division over a century old in this country. stuff from Tanvi Ahmed put the punches together very well there five or six punch cluster from him both of these two with their heart absolutely set on this chance this big biggest of all nights really in their boxing career certainly so far Rigby's got to keep close to Ahmed he can't afford to stand out of range because with the extra reach a little bit extra speed Ahmed is beating him to the punch so Rigby's got to close down the distance and keep the pressure on Ahmed cut doesn't look too bad by Rigby's right eye but there the heads came very dangerously close together I just wonder whether there was a head clash that caused the original cut it might well have been that I think you know Only Rigby had a big punch to go with his busy style. It would help him so much more, wouldn't it? Yes, that would certainly be a help. But at this moment, he's just not getting close enough. Whether he had a, a punch or not, he needs to be in range to land a shot. And that, that's the problem he's having, getting into range. Well, he's there now, and he scores with a couple of good uppercuts. The left tooth was better from Rigby. We're getting more of the close quarter combat that Rigby would fancy more now. And maybe that's bad news long term for Tanvi Ahmed. Well, it could be also the fact Rigby's been out of the ring for a while. It'll take him a little bit of time to warm to this, to get his rhythm back. So maybe he'll do better as the rounds go on. become harder for Tanvi Ahmed to keep the fight at range behind his southpaw jab. Ahmed like still, sorry Ian, Ahmed at range still picking away with the shots which will be scoring points. Interesting, intriguing battle. Coming next Wednesday, a second chance for some giant killing for First Division Port Vale. They take on mighty Arsenal in an FA Cup replay. It's on Sky Sports 2, Wednesday at 7.30. But right now you're watching the battle for the vacant British lightweight title between Wayne Rigby and Tanvir Ahmed, live and exclusive from the York Hall, Bethnal Green. Thanks a lot, Jeff. And here's round five. Tanvir Ahmed in the green trunks, the black of Wayne Rigby. 
and not an awful lot in it so far. I think you've got Tanvir Ahmed ahead, haven't you, Glenn? Yes, I'm giving it. I'm giving him the run. Just taking with with more shots. He's just the busier. Rigby just standing off too much. You know, having a little bit of trouble closing the distance down. So you know, whether he can do that as the rounds go on is yet to be seen. Not that often that Glenn and I disagree, but I've got it level at the moment. So there you go. Having given Rigby round three. Doesn't really much matter how Glenn and I are saying it. It's Larry O'Connell who makes the big decision. damage as well there for Rigby by the look of it underneath the eyes looks a bit blotchy and puffy heads coming pretty dangerously close together at times turning south for again there Rigby and back again person definitely not watching this will be Wayne Rigby's mother she can't bear to watch him box without bursting into tears so she's in hiding somewhere tonight waiting for the result so Rigby's trying to get close now he's getting more of a bounce and getting a little closer to the bodywork but still has to be busier and has to land with cleaner punches to the body from Rigby there. He turned his man well there, Rigby too. Didn't really follow up with the body attack you expected. The body shots from Rigby that have taken the eye more than anything in this round. Yes, they look the best so far in this round. He's getting a little bit closer, starting to land to Ahmed more and more. And Ahmed not looking as much in control in this round. Just losing his rhythm a little bit. And Rigby starting to land. Now's a better round for Rigby. Welcome back. On the right of your picture, Tanvir Ahmed. On the left, Wayne Rigby. Body shots landed in the fight so far. Rigby 35 to 12. Well, that could be a, a good sign for Rigby. Starting to land with more and more body shots. There's that good left hook. And he had a much better round. I give that one a, a good round for Rigby. And I think that's the key. He's got to get closer. He's got to start trying to break Ahmed up with body punches. Here's round six. Remember Tanvi Ahmed in green, the tall man from Glasgow. 29 years of age. Good left hand again from Ahmed there. Just getting back for a moment to the good work he was showing early on in the contest. Just boxing behind the jab and whipping in the left hand. That's what works so well for him, does it again. Has to stay busy doing it to keep Rigby from closing the range. Yes, it's difficult for him and he's got to keep good concentration throughout this fight. Got to keep his boxing together and work well behind that jab. Well, there will always be the danger that Rigby can close the distance down and start working to the body. This is better from Tanvir Ahmed in this round so far anyway but again Rigby has a, a little success with the left hook to the body got to try and make Ahmed miss with the the southport jab and come back with that left hook. There he 
There is again the old combination from Tanvir Ahmed. Right jab, left cross. Well, they're both having their share of success in this round. Rigby to the body, Ahmed with the, the long straight punches. Burst from Rigby. But he maybe needs a wee bit more of it in this round. The right hand's not a bad shot either. Both of them will look to finish the round strong. Last thing that the ref will remember before marking his scorecard. Good shot from Tanvi Ahmed. Could be trying to get the hands free, work her way inside. Got to try and make this work a good effect in close. So you've heard what uh, Glenn McCrory and I are making of things. I wonder how Barry McGuigan's seeing it. Barry. Yeah, Ian, that's a great fight. It's developing into a really good one. I think the second half of the fight is really going to be interesting. It's in the balance at the moment. But Rigby has put a lot of emphasis on body punches, and it's a risk worth taking because in the latter half of the fight, those body shots could pay a big dividend for him. Ahmed, Ahmed is refusing to throw more than one or two punches at a time. He's bending over more, tucking the elbows in nice and tight. So, uh, as I say, it could be, uh, it could be a, a difficult fight for him in the second half when he needs to call on his stamina. He's taken a lot out of him, uh, Wayne Rigby, with those body shots. But as I say, it's all in the balance at the moment. It's, it's a matter of who wants it. And uh, Rigby needs to set the pace up a little bit more. It's a very even fight. And Barry McGuigan, of course, knows one or two things about body shots, doesn't he, Glenn? Yes, he was one of the, one of the best at throwing the body punches. Here's round seven, then. Tanvir Ahmed with his back to you in those green trunks. Looking to become the first man of Pakistani heritage to hold a British championship at any weight. There's Glenn Scorecard. Yes, I'm still giving it to Ahmed by two points. The rugby starting to do a little more in the last two rounds. Will those body shots of rugby maybe wear down Tanvir Ahmed late on? It's one possibility, but only one. I think it's no exaggeration to say that both of these two fighters want this title so badly they'd have fought here for nothing tonight. Tanvir Ahmed actually said as much. Don't tell Frank Maloney that though. Well Ahmed's now starting to get involved in the brawl and that, that kind of fight doesn't really suit him. He's better behind the jab, trying to control things at long range and this will be better for Rigby and a good of a cut from him there. But it was the only shot that landed in the rally. The rest of them hit the arms. Rigby's got quite a few supporters who've come down from Manchester to get behind him here. Good crowd at the York Hall in Bethnal Green where they do love their boxing. And after the long Christmas New Year break, just, I think, thirsting to see a bit of action again, really. Well, it is such a, a good venue. The years has been a very good area for boxing. And they do appreciate it here. the left hand by Rigby and then a nice little countering right by Ahmed. Nip and tuck really. Rounds have been tough to score a lot of them. Come on, what time? Yes, they have the, Come on. Just the way the, the styles clash, they are difficult to score. Ahmed scores with arm punches really but he gets them through inside. Rigby now is starting to get closer, starting, his punches are starting to look better. with the left hand by Ahmed and then he picks his man off with the jab as well at range 
and out of range three times with his own jab, Rigby. Good finish to the round by Tanvir Ahmed. Well, it's fascinatingly poised, this fight for the British lightweight championship vacated by Michael Ayres. Tanvir Ahmed, who's trained by Willie Connolly. And I'm af afraid that uh, his hand was broken in training for this fight while he was working with Tanvir Ahmed, Willie Connolly, from the Alex Morrison camp, as you can see there on the, uh, on the tracksuit tops. Well, that was a difficult round to score. I'd just go for for Rigby by his better work at the beginning of the round. Ahmed come back towards the end with some good long shots, but Rigby was just trying to work away early on and had the better of it for most of the round for me. And then at the end of the round, these shots from Tanvir Ahmed. Round eight. Oh, that's a cracking left hand by Rigby. Ahmed rather walked onto it. Tanvi Ahmed, who is a Muslim, told that Ramadan starts tonight and he has postponed his fasting for that because he wants to celebrate an anticipated victory, but that is very much up in the air so far. It may well depend, almost certainly will depend, on what happens over these last five rounds. Well, this fight is still toys, still very close. Rigby landed a big right hand and Ahmed come back to answer it with a good salvo of punches. He's really digging his toes in Rigby here and letting this leather fly. Tanvir Ahmed having to meet fire with fire. Some good action already in this eighth round. The jab of Ahmed is not as an effective a weapon as it was in the early rounds. He was controlling the side early. Now he's unable to keep Rigby off. Now good work here by Rigby. Certainly part of his battle plan to really come on strong late on. Again. Big right hand and a left to the body. He's throwing every punch with some evil intent at the moment. Rigby marked up around the face as he is. But it looks as if Ahmed's starting to tire now. The right hands of Rigby are getting through more and more. Is Tanvir Ahmed going to be worn down here by this relentless man from Manchester who's on a winning run. There's a big effort in this round from Wayne Rigby. Can he sustain it? Can Tanvir Ahmed just get back to his boxing again? Well, Ahmed's starting to get his punches off towards the end of the round, but Rigby's done an awful lot in this one. And Ahmed looking tired. With a real fireball round, this from Wayne Rigby. And his round, I think, on the cards. Good atmosphere between them. They touch gloves at the end of almost every round, these two. Yes, I think they're both friendly, good-natured young men. They've got a lot of respect for each other, and I think they're both glad to get, to get the opportunity to fight for this respected title. And they're, they're fighting very hard inside the ring, but showing each other respect as the bell goes. But Rigby had the, the best of that round, starting to get close. Ahmed looking tired, and Rigby then starting to work much better as he gets in close and gets a distance to let his punches go. 
I'm just thinking, Glenn, we've mentioned some of the great names who've held this title. One we didn't mention was Dave Charnley, who many people think was the best British boxer since the last war. Tremendous fighter, and those fights he had uh, with Joe Brown, now the late Joe Brown. A lot of people thought that Dave Charnley was robbed at Earl's Court, but that is another story from long ago. Well, this division certainly has a, a tremendous history, and I think whoever wins this will carry that Lonsdale belt with a great deal of pride. Let's go and scorecard for you. You've got it level now. Yes, for me, it's, it's all still to fight for. It could get down in this closing stages, stages to who wants it more, who's got the who's done the most training, who's the stronger and the fitter. Certainly Rigby had no kind of weight problems quite clearly for this. He says he can make super featherweight and came in at 9-7. Uh, Bit of tape's come loose on the glove for Rigby, so we'll have a time out here. Bob Shannon cutting that off. Bit of sideline, by the way, the trainer in the corner there who's cutting off that tape. He was in the same class at school as Rigby's mum. That's a coincidence for you. You do get all the facts again. You can bore your friend at the bus stop next time. You've got to stay on the road. that to you. Real good argument, this, between two fighters who prepared themselves to the minute. Marked up underneath both eyes, Rigby, but he has been for quite a while now. The cut eye that he's had for a long time has held up very well. It's not too bad. And they're both starting to look tired. On the good ground for either man here, and neither one can really get a, a good few punches off. They're missing an awful lot in this round. I think Tyden is just starting to, to get in. And we say it every time, but it may well depend this on who wants it most late. predictable we've had a long distance fight between two comparatively light hitters a lot more missed punches in this round neither one landing to good effect the jab is not really there from Ahmed he relied on that in the early rounds and he's just allowing himself to be dragged into a fight now just got a little scrappy, the heads banging together there rather dangerously. Tiredness setting in. Not much in that, if anything. Good even round then, wasn't it? Just a good even round. I think they were both starting to get tired. There was a lot of missed punches, as I said, and neither one could really get a rhythm. Ahmed just lost his poise at this moment can't get his jab working well and there you can see on the stats 147 to 144 so they're, they're very very close on landed punching by the computer Tanvir Ahmed relatively unmarked over there but he's tired and I think Rigby's tiring too it's been a relentless battle this wins and three defeats so far for Wayne Rigby who's beaten people like Hugh Collins Jimmy Phelan in the central area title fighter and Alan Bosworth in that eliminator Salman Ahmed, uh, Javier Ahmed with wins over people like Kevin McKillen, Chan Duke and Alan Temple the last nine minutes may well decide this I'm finding it hard to separate them on the scorecards at the moment. Well, I still have it dead level on mine, so 
Yeah, I think we all seen this is very, very close. Ahmed's got to try and get a little bit of room. He's got to start to, to let longer punches go, and more accurate punches. That's where he had his success in the early rounds. Still looking for those left hooks of the body, Rigby. But Ahmed started quite positively in this round. As I'm sure they said in Ahmed's corner, you've got to have a, a bit of distance between yourself and Rigby. You've got to let the long punches go. Can Sambi Ahmed take this title back to Scotland, following in the line of Jim Watt and Ken Buchanan? These are good left hands from him. It's just a bit sharper at this stage. Can be around it. Ricky's rather gone off the boil over the last five minutes or so. Yes, I think Ahmed's come out to make a real positive effort in this round, and I think that's just took Rigby by surprise. He's been put on the back foot, and Ahmed doing the better work. Good countering right by Rigby. Very, very hard in there, you sense for both of them now. Well, they're tired, they're just starting to, or they're just trying to keep the arms working, and Ahmed is doing it better, working harder, beating Rigby to the punch. His shots just look the more solid, there's a sort of arm look about some of Rigby's work in this round. We'll be trying to come back with a, a flurry of punches, but nothing really scoring in there. Ahmed catching them on the arms. <laughs> Two honest battlers here. They've been on the journeyman circuit, and this is cup final night, really, for both of them. It's a nice left hand from Tanvi Ahmed. Again, just seemed to be beating Rigby to the punch. But I think that round might have taken an awful lot out of Ahmed. That was a big effort. So how much has he got left for the last six minutes? Rigby from Manchester looking to follow in the success story of people like Carl Thompson, Steve Foster, and until recently Robin Reed. And then I'm giving Ahmed the, the tenth round, just taking him that one point in the lead with two to go. But how is Larry O'Connell reading it? <laughs> the real test of their grit and heart now and desire whoever wins this british lightweight championship tonight is going to have earned it you almost feel sorry that one of them will have the heartbreak of a defeat don't you if that's what happens fights like this could often go to a draw and they may have to settle it all again it has been a close fight throughout These are two men now trying to summon up the last few ounces of energy. They almost look as if they're fighting in a vat of treacle now, don't they? Yes, it's so hard at this point in a fight. You can train all you want, but when you get to the really late stages, you're almost doing it on just sheer mental will. You know, you're both very, very tired. And you know, that's where this, they say, you know, it's who wants it more, who can summon up 
the more strength, the more determination. And I think this is a point in the fight where really this is what it's all about. There was a time around the eighth round where Rupi looked as if he might be ready to take over, but Tandir Ahmed's come back well. And now there are just three and a half minutes or so left. Tape on the glove of Rigby has come loose, but Larry O'Connell decides to let the action run. Either that or he hasn't spotted it as yet. Oh, tremendous left hand from Rigby. And if he really had some mega power, I think Tanvir Ahmed would have been on the seat of his pants from that one. That lad is flush. Was that enough to maybe just nick the round for Rigby? What do you think, Glenn? I'm not sure. It was, uh, I give it a, an even round. That was a, a good punch from Rigby. And that really rocked Ahmed. But it, you know, it's really just a, that just goes a, a one. So maybe it wasn't enough. Ahmed had some, some good work, some good accurate work. was trying hard early in the round. Rigby come back with some good one. This is a good close fight. They're both working very hard. I think for me, that was a, you see, Ahmed landed with the left first. His wasn't quite as powerful as Rigby's, but still would have been a scoring point. So for me, an even round. Just been doing a little straw poll. I think you've got Tanvir Ahmed ahead by one round going into the last. So have I, by completely different route. And so uh, has Bob Mee, our uh, respected journalist sitting right next to us here. Some of the rounds have been very difficult to score and pick a winner, but this is the last three minutes. We think Ahmed is just ahead. We may be wrong. Larry O'Connell may have a completely different scorecard. These things are so subjective. It could well depend on this final three minutes. On the other hand, it might not. But that's the beauty of boxing. You just don't know. It's a hidden drama every time. Again, the left hand was a good shot from Rigby. You're right, they're almost fighting on instinct and will now. Yes, I think really they are. They know it's very close to the end. Neither one wants to give way. So they're both, you're not thinking about fitness, you're not thinking about how tired they are. They're just thinking about just keep those arms moving, just try and find a punch from somewhere. Both desperately take, trying to take the eye of the referee by pumping out the leather non-stop. But try to look for the more significant shots. The ones that really land with a bit of quality about them. seconds left both of them desperately tired no real good scoring work they're just trying to keep the arms moving try and attract the referee's attention and get the points there's nothing there really of any quality breathing very heavily Sanvir Ahmed as he came out of that clinch Good right hand, another smashing left hand from Rigby. Tanvir Ahmed has to be careful. So late on and so tired, and another very big, deep breath from him. He looked in a bit of trouble for a moment there on those ropes, Tanvir Ahmed. It would be terrible for him if he was to fall apart this late on. With only half a minute or so left, Rigby's had a good last round. Will it be enough to make him British lightweight champion in a cracking right hand too? The last round's turning into a bit of a nightmare for Tanvir Ahmed. His gum shield's come out. And he really does look to be at the end of his tether, Tanvir Ahmed, here. Because he's in desperate trouble and... 
But is there enough time for Rigby? I tell you what, he needed that respite. And he's on very shaky legs. He's all over the place, Tanvir Ahmed. I tell you what, this will be stopped very shortly. It's finished. And Rigby is the new British lightweight champion. He certainly won the last round. And he's taken the title. It's a massive success story for the man who lost on his debut. The man who's been out of the ring for 10 months, but whose seventh successive win makes him the lightweight champion of Great Britain. Well, that was a tremendous rally at the end. He really summoned it up. And I think really to sheer tiredness from Ahmed, who just, it all went from him in the last round. He just lost everything. That was a very big round for Rigby. Could have been a 10-8 round. And he really just, for me, really just pulled it out from that very last round. It had to be very close. And Rigby got a little cut to his, his left eye as well to finish with. Tremendous effort from both fighters. And your heart really does go out to Tanvir Ahmed, who'd waited so long for his chance. Did that last round cost him the fight? We'll know when we hear the scorecard of Larry O'Connell. This is this last round trade-off, or not so much a trade-off, because it was Tanvir Ahmed who was on the wrong end of a barrage from Rigby, and I tell you what, Tanvir Ahmed was on the very brink of being stopped here. I don't think he'd have lasted another half minute. He wouldn't have, I don't think so. He's been caught with solid punches, desperately tired. It just all drained out of him with a few big punches from Rigby right at the end, and he so tired. There's a big right hand. That took an awful lot out, and he's looking to hold, but the legs had gone at this stage. And really, Rigby just needed a, a little bit more time, and I think he well would have gotten the stoppage. So how close was it? Here's our MC, John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee scorecard reads for Amid, 114 points. For Rigby, 115 points. The new British lightweight champion from the beautiful city of Manchester, It was six rounds to five with one even, and no doubt about it, it depended on the last round. It must have been even going in the last round, and Rigby won that last round on Larry O'Connell's scorecard, and with it, he became champion. What a sensational start to 1998, wasn't it? Especially for Wayne Rigby. His mum can look now, she'll see her son is the new British lightweight champion, but Barry, well, it couldn't have been any tighter. Phenomenal finish. Oh, absolutely. Tremendous start to the new year. A tremendous fight. These are two young kids that wanted to break through, and this could be a star of the future. Young Wayne Rigby, great fighter. Pulled it out when he needed to. Put a lot of emphasis on the body shots in the early rounds. And just when he needed it, in the last round, he turned it around. Uh, and I, I give him that, that, that last round by a clear point. So therefore, he won it, uh, he, he won it by... Uh, uh, a two-point margin on the 10 and the 10-9 rush system, but uh, what a marvellous fight. And in the end, it may well be that Tanvir Ahmed paid the price for those body shots that he sustained in the earlier rounds at the hands of Wayne Rigby. There he is, he's the new British lightweight champion, he's Wayne Rigby and with him is Ian Dark. British lightweight champion, after all the struggles, Wayne, how does that sound? <laughs> Brilliant, I'm sorry. You'll just say, I love you, ma'am. And I'm all right. I love you, Gemma. I want to thank all the lads, everyone who's got me there, Bob Spinnin, Azzy Dale, Jack Trickett, and the Bobby Greatsman. Everyone. It's unbelievable. <laughs> well, it's a fabulous achievement, and it's obviously got you close to tears. But looking back on the fight, that was so close, and you obviously won it in the last round on the ref scorecard. Yeah, uh, well, Bob kept saying to me, come on, you've got to dig deep now. You've got to want it more in him. I could feel him getting strong. I thought, man, I've got to win my teeth now. I've really got to dig deep. I think of all the ones what I've done with the tyres, going up the hills. Oh, and that's what I got from it. All the hard work what I've done. And tonight it's paid off. And next time we're going to be even fitter and sharper. I've done good there, been out of ring 10 months. He's kept sharp. And I've done good. The more fights get going, get going now, I'll just get sharper and better. I've got caught a lot. You know what I mean? It's just uh, 